Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today with my review of One Piece Manga Chapter 870. Um, a very good chapter. Very good. Um, it was a lot of just plan. It was a lot of planning and a lot of comedy, and I liked that. My favorite had to be Caesar. At this point, I he's annoying as hell, but it's funny. He's like, I don't want to put my life on the line for you. It's really great. It's really great. Um, Sanji, uh, Sanji and Judge. But seeing when Sanji grad Judge and he's like, Tell me you are not my father. And Judge doesn't do it. That was great. I love the silent moments in One Piece. Like he stood up and he was like, Indeed, I understand. We'll ne I swear never to come near you or East Blue again. That means he's giving up on the West Blue. He's like, he's done. No, I know he's not. Or the East Blue. He's going to leave Zeph and the East Blue alone. He'll leave Sanji's home alone. He's like, Sanji Vin Smoke died at sea. Now I'm black. So he's pretty much saying, now my name is black like Sanji. And I like that. Um, I love how when he goes, I refuse. It's a clear reference. Well, maybe it's just me, but that, that was very similar to the way he refused Luffy in the manga. He was like, I refuse. And then they turn around, he's like, I refuse your refusal. So apparently, so Beige is playing that he can create a special room. And he can, uh, he can put them all in the special room. And then he can grab on the Caesar and they can fly away together. So they're trying to think out how the hell they're going to do this with Big Mom out there. And decide that Magurma will hold them all. And this is my thing. If they're willing to die for Sanji, like... Riju, I think, is doing this out of kindness, but the rest of them, you honestly can't tell. I only can't tell. Are they doing this for Sanji, or because they don't want to be indebted to Sanji? They say it's because they don't want to be indebted, but that's a common trope in, in, in fiction, where you're like, you'll, you'll, like, where a character doesn't want to admit they're helping somebody for a certain, because, because they care, they'll say, well, I don't want be, to be indebted to, to scum like you. And that was great. Uh, Judge, uh, so they, so they eventually, they go out there. So Luffy this whole time is like, I want to beat up Big Mom. <laughs> and everybody's like, no. The whole reason this worked was because there were a small amount of us. If we were going to actually fight Big Mom, we would have brought Loro and the other. I don't think they specifically named Loro. They're like, we would have brought Loro. Like, but definitely, like, we definitely would have at least brought the <coughs> <coughs> We definitely would have at least brought Zoro. I love that. It's a great home to Zoro's strength. But, uh, it's a great way of representing Zoro's strength. Like, when they think of strong guys on the crew, Zoro, besides Luffy, Zoro the third person they think of. No, but, uh, so, we're gonna, like, we should just escape and go to Whole Cake Island. And even Sonny's like, no, it did the way the Vince Smoke deal with things. You can't fight. The Vince Smoke, so the room is, the Vince Smoke are about to leave. The castle, Megazord thing is destroyed. Base falls to the ground in pain. And the Vince Smoke engaged in combat. This is a really messed up scene. Like, this is what I hate about the Vince Smoke. Alright? At that point, I'm immune to it. Like, I don't notice during the live reaction this much. But a hand go the Riju gets knocked to the ground. Riju's about to die. All right, and Sanji, and and, and the whole Vimpo family doesn't care. None of them care. I think it's Ichiji or Niji. Niji, I believe, said complete permission at all costs. What happens to you, sister Riju, does not matter. It's like, dude, you're an asshole. You are all terrible, terrible people. Mm. No, but there's a great scene. You see Luffy, Char, you see, in the corner, you see Gum Gum and Diablo. Luffy and Sanji go in. And by the way, this is a Big Mom's heavenly fire attack, by the way. So they go in, Elephant Gun, Diablo, Jumbo, Cross Strike. And they, uh, they knock, they, they, they manage to somehow just deflect. I think they stopped the attack. I hope they do. But they stopped the attack. 
And they had, like, witty banter. They like, you said not to go out of the special room. And Sonny said, no, I was talking to you, not myself. And Louie just like, screw that. And then you see all the other characters freaking out in the corner. And they're like, why would they do that? And it was all so good. I mean, so I guess next chapter we're getting a brief... I'm going to imagine it will be a Luffy versus Sanji version of Luffy versus Fujitora. That's how I'm looking at it. I think that there... I think by the end of the summer this arc will be over. I feel like it's just going to be one or two chapters of them going at it. May, uh, maybe an emotional Sanji and Ryu moment. Honestly, I want Re I want something to happen. I want maybe Ryu to leave her family and maybe become like a pirate or a mercenary or just, I wish Ryu would leave those shitheads. Ryu, Ryu really cool. Ryu, I really like Ryu and Sanji. I want more of that relationship. I, I really like that relationship. I think it's really, I think it's a really good brother sister dynamic. We, we, we haven't really seen brother-sister dynamics in One Piece. We've seen brother-brother with Luffy and Ace, and we saw Nami and Nojiko. And then most of the time, it's like mother and daughter, father and son. Like, master and student, sister and sister, brother and mother. It was very interesting to see Riju taking care of her little brother sometimes. And I, I really liked that. And now, San, and now Sanji surpassed all of them. And he's taking care of her, to repay her for taking care of him when they were kids. And also, because I do think somewhere in heart he does love Ryu. I think. I think Ryu, also, can we just talk, I, can we just talk, now this is the only arc, only arc in history, where Sanji has been around an incredibly attractive woman, and hasn't reacted to it. I know he's their, their brother and sister, but I just say, only arc. I'm like, I do an ask this three years ago and you would show me a picture of Ritchie with that she's Sanji's sister. I would have been like, eh, he's still going to fangboy over her. Like, now that's that. I think I'd be really cool if at some point he said something. I guess, uh, like, he's like, we find out he's been containing his inner pervert. Maybe he doesn't want to look like a creep. That would be a little, because, you know, because he, even Sanji knows there's a line there. But that would be really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Hmm, I'm gonna stop rating chapter. I really am. Because you know, so often they're 10 out of 10. One of the things I hated about reviewing them was that I would struggle to give them rating. But I will tell you it was a great chapter. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, leave it a like. Subscribe for more videos that you want me to review every week. My one peak review may or may not be late next week. It depends because I may. Yeah, I don't know. My, my next week is looking kind of weird. So it's on a side of video. Maybe they've been pretty consistent lately. They may be a little weird next week. Uh, although it, what may end up happening is I may end up doing a video on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. That may be the schedule. So it may be men Monday a video. Then I'll do a video for Boruto on Wednesday. Something along those lines. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know what the video schedule is gonna look like for next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave the video a like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear them. I'm actually genuinely interested in people's thoughts on this chapter. And yeah, have a great day.